No matter how badly injured the boy was, just put the wound into water. Wounds were healed instantly. He waved his hand casually, could make huge waves. He was Percy, the son of Poseidon the god of the sea, but he didn't know his true identity. In ancient times, the world was charged by Zeus, Hades and Poseidon, but God's days were so boring, they would go to the mortal world from time to time, find a new woman to fall in love with, gave birth to half-human and half-god descendant. Later Zeus issued an order prohibiting contact between gods and humans. Poseidon had to abandon his wife and child, and his wife also committed herself to marrying another man. This evening, because the lightning scepter was stolen, Zeus found Poseidon. He suspected that Poseidon's son Percy had stolen it, and uttered harsh words. If Percy couldn't hand over the lightning bolt of Zeus within 14 days, then sent him to endless hell. Once the news was spread, Percy was pursued by the Furies. Fortunately Poseidon has secretly arranged a guardian, saved Percy in a critical moment. The frightened Percy kept asking Grover, who actually became his guardian. After returning home, Percy told his mother. Mother understood instantly. On the way to escape, Percy finally learned about his real identity. The purpose of the three people's trip was to seek asylum at the demigod school. There were descendants of humans and gods. The three went to the gate of the school, but as a human the mother couldn't enter. At this time, a huge black hand grabbed the mother. It turned out to be a giant minotaur. He crushed the mother to ash instantly with just one hand. Angry Percy mustered up the courage. The inner anger burst out instantly, holding sword in hand. Killed the monster in a few rounds. Then he also fainted and fell to the ground. Wait until Percy woke up. He was in the demigod school. Looking at everything in front, he finally believed the truth. He met a girl here. Her name was Anna, the daughter of Athena the goddess of war. Percy fell in love with Anna at first sight. In a training session, Anna and Percy became rivals, relying on her rich practical capabilities. Anna beat Percy until he was dying. Just when everyone was laughing at him, a voice suddenly sounded in his ears. Percy struggled to crawl to the water's edge. At the moment to contact with water, the wounds began to heal automatically. The boy was seriously injured. He crawled to the water's edge with difficulty. The moment the wounds contacted with water, he was miraculously healed. Even the strength has been improved. Easily defeated his opponent Anna and captured her heart. He also became a hero that everyone admired. At night party, Percy got invitations from girls. Just when Percy lost himself, Anna showed up just in time, declared sovereignty. The two of them fell in love with each other completely. At this time, a demon with wings suddenly appeared from the campfire nearby. He was Hades the god of hell. He used Percy's mother as a threat, made him hand over the lightning bolt of Zeus. Although Percy didn't know the whereabouts of the lightning bolt, in order to save his mother, he decided to take the risk and go to the underworld. Before he left, he met Grover and Anna, faced with the entanglement from the two. Percy had no choice but to take them with him to enter the underworld. They must find the three pearls leading to the underworld first, and the first pearl was in Medusa's hand. They went to a garden market. This was Medusa's territory. She could turn enemy to stone by gazing with the eyes. When running away in a hurry, Anna met Medusa. No matter how Medusa bewitched Anna. She didn't open her eyes. Percy arrived just in time. Reflection through mobile phone mirror. Cut off Medusa's head with the sword. Medusa still cannot escape the fate of being beheaded. They successfully got the first pearl. Subsequently, they went to the second location, the museum of the goddess Athena. But now there were tourists all around. The pearl could only be removed after the museum was closed. But before they had time to be happy, a huge hydra suddenly appeared in front of them. The giant snake spat flames from its mouth. The three fled in a hurry. Crucial moment. The power of Poseidon awaked again in Percy. Controlled the flow of water forming a huge wall of water, but this had no effect on Hydra. In the end Grover was smart and took out the head of Medusa. Hydra gazed upon the power of petrification, instantly turned into a huge stone statue. The museum got a giant snake fossil for free. The last location was a casino. The three unsuspectingly ate the free lotus cakes. They became excited instantly, forgot the purpose of this trip. At this time, the strange sound sounded in Percy's ears again. Get the flower. Only then did he wake up. Then he also woke up Anna and Grover. Though blocked by security, they still managed to get the third pearl. The three arrived at hell just before midnight. This was a ghost ship floating in the void, but the passengers were three living people. Looking at the hell scene in front, they were shocked. As the ghost ship moved forward, they went to the palace of Hades. As soon as entered the door, they were surrounded by two hellhounds. Emergency moment. A woman came over, following her order. The hellhounds retreated obediently. She brought them to Hades. Hades used Percy's mother to threaten him again to hand over the lightning bolt. Saw mother appeared. Percy threw away his shield, excitedly hugging his mother. At this time, a blue light suddenly emitted from behind the shield. This was the lightning bolt that the three gods were looking for. It hid inside the shield that Percy's friend Luke gave him. Hades picked up the lightning bolt and felt unprecedented strength. Hades immediately changed his mind after getting the lightning bolt. He summoned the hellhound 
grounds, planning to throw everyone into hell to feed the evil spirits. But at this moment, the queen suddenly snatched away the lightning bolt, knocked Hades down. The queen has already suffered the cruelty of Hades, so she decided to help Percy regain the lightning bolt. She handed the lightning bolt to Percy, but there were only three pearls to make them return home. This also meant that there must be one person to stay in hell. Grover decided to sacrifice himself, taking the initiative to take over the task of staying in hell. The remaining three stepped on the pearls. With a burst of smoke, they returned to the world. But just as Percy was about to go to Mount Olympus, Luke who gave Percy the shield suddenly appeared. It turned out that his purpose was to use Percy to send the lightning bolt to Hades, thus triggering a war of gods. Then Luke snatched the lightning bolt, attacked them. At the crucial moment, Percy's Poseidon power awakened again. The powerful water shield instantly knocked Luke to the ground. Percy got his lightning bolt back, but the crisis has not been resolved. Mount Olympus at this time, Zeus and Poseidon were preparing for war. Just at the last minute of time, Percy arrived. He returned the lightning bolt to Zeus. Percy and his son finally met each other. The two finally settled their differences shook hands and made peace. The movie ends here. If you are a demigod, will you feel honored or still feel anxious?